In this video, we are going to display the colors and then the brand for the pricing and then the size they are manual. So we are going to make a request to fetch all the colors and then the brand. And for brand, I'm not sure we have an action for that. So let's get back to the Redux. Let me collapse all of these ones. And here's how we see Redux slices categories. Oh, I have the brands here, so I can go ahead and fetch them as fetch brands. So let me get back to the components, users, product, and product filters. So let me bring in fetch brands action and fetch colors. I'm not sure I'm going to have the auto import. So let me resave it as colors as fetch colors action. So let's go ahead and fetch them. And after the fetch all product, I will say fetch brands. And I'm going to take this and change the action to fetch brands and pass in this patch as dependencies inside the array. And the next is going to be the colors. So paste here and say fetch colors. And here as fetch colors action. Save it and let's refresh it and let's check the store. Uh, we have the brand being fetched the colors also being fetched. So we can go ahead and display them accordingly. So back to the product filtering here. For the brands, we are going to grab from the store. So let's locate. It is inside the brands and dot brands. So quickly, I'm going to be as get store data as use selector then states states dot brand and what i want here is the brands from the store equal to that so now i'm going to remove the placeholder for this when i do that save it and let's have a look well i have some error and it's supposed to be dot brands going to be nested right so let's see the actual error yeah brands is not a function so let's do nested destruction or you can make use of brands dot brands yeah and let's look at it and we have editors as that let me show you where i'm looping through it let's scroll down for desktop and these are the sizes and scroll down to brands yeah here i'm taking the brands array loop through and display it accordingly as that all right the next one going to be the colors it's going to be the same process so we are going to destructure or get the data from the store so up here i'm going to copy this and for colors down here paste that and change this one to colors and colors so let's remove this one as a placeholder and the same thing i'm looping through the colors and display it accordingly so let's save it and let's have a look for the colors and we have two colors under men if i go to home page and click on all and for colors i still have two colors what about men yeah 
also have two colors yeah, because I have two colors in the application as it stands right now. All right, so let's continue and look at the rest. We have the colors here, the price, and then the brand, and then the size. All right, for the meantime, we are going to display all the product here. And then we'll go ahead and apply the filtering into it. Let's continue in the next video.